As a young man, Jeremy loved tinkering with cars and spending time with his friends and children. The life Jeremy was leading took an almost fatal turn after a car accident in his hometown of Texarkana. Me and my youngest daughter went to the accident site and then they airlifted him to Longview. And the doctor came in and told us then that he had a, a decompressed skull fracture. Jeremy spent almost two years mostly immobile. Then his mom heard about core health care and received state funding. When I first met Jeremy, he was laying in bed. Um, he couldn't speak. Uh, he was on a continuous drip feed. He couldn't stick his tongue out. He couldn't smile on command. He couldn't follow commands. Jeremy's care included simultaneous speech pathology, cognitive therapy, physical therapy, occupational therapy individually and in groups. He had constant team approach stimulation where if he was in physical therapy, they had him visually scanning. If he was in vision therapy, I had him standing up and using his voice. Um, you know, we, we, we hit him from all sides and he was always working on the same three or four main goals. He had such an amazing spirit. It was that immediately he reached out to me. He had so much um, motivation and he wanted to get better so bad. It was like he would plead with me with his eyes and I knew that I could help him. When he left here, he had so much more potential. Jeremy has gone from being bedridden to being able to sit up on his own, from being tube fed to eating by himself. Despite a blind right eye, he's learned to navigate on a scooter, and though his brain was severely injured, he is able to build a relationship with his daughter. Give daddy hugs. There you go. It's kind of brought somewhat of the old Jeremy back. I don't even know how to thank Cora enough. In gratitude, Jeremy sings his favorite song often. Freebird, as he is slowly gaining independence. <laughs>